everyone this is your girl okay my wife my internet suck i'm sorry <laughs> hey everybody this is your girl creole butterfly aka libra butterfly aka coco 929 coming to you from the great state of kentucky where the women are beautiful and the horses are fast all the horses are beautiful and the women are fast it just really depends on what you learn like Oh, Lord. Still recovering. Um, I have three more weeks of a procedure that I have to do three times a week. So I am on bed rest. And uh, yeah, but today started off rough, but this has been one of the best days since I've been down. So I'm grateful uh, to be feeling a little bit better. And thank you guys for all your prayers, wishes, and your prayers and your well wishes for my uh, recovery. I appreciate that so, so, so much. I wanted to come on. I didn't want to lose touch with my people. Uh, you are very important, all of my butterflies. Thank you for my new subbies. I want to send out smooches to you guys. You get a smooch. You get a smooch. You get a smooch. So all of you get a smooch. Um I hope everything is going okay. I know this is uh, the seventh day of 2023. And, uh, you know, the number seven means completion. So I hope everything is still going okay for you. Um, also, what I was going to say is uh, make an announcement that starting, I was going to, just just pay attention. I was going to start Monday of this week coming, but I'm still trying to put things in order. I have so much that I have to do coming this Monday. So um, I don't want to pr uh, promise and not deliver because this is something that has been in my spirit to do for a while. Uh, so one of the segments that I will be doing, again, this is your girl, Creole Butterfly. One of the segments I will be doing starting, if not this Monday, the following Monday at 6 a.m. is called... Get ready with Creole Butterfly, an uh, inspirational hour. Um, and even if you can't stay the hour, what I will be doing is coming on early in the morning and we will be starting with a prayer, a scripture. And if the Lord gives me a prophetic word, that's going to be less than an hour. That's going to be about 20 minutes. OK, a prayer, a scripture. And if the Lord gives me a prophetic word. OK. A lot of people are going to start going through a lot of things, if not already, uh, concerning their job. And they're going to need to get some positive words or affirmations uh, to tackle those days. So I'm starting with Monday and then Wednesdays. It's going to be Monday and Wednesdays. It's only going to be, I just, I was calling it 30, 30 minutes of, uh, what did I call it? Uh, I forgot what I, what the name of it, so I don't want to create none now. But um, I think you're going to enjoy it. A whole lot of people has been asking me about that. Um, and so now is the time, especially since I'm on bed rest, for me to go ahead and get it in action. Uh, I did start another channel. Me and uh, YouTube ain't found out what happened with that channel yet. So, you know, I can't keep waiting. 
and uh, and everything, you know. So um, and this, when I do the uh, less than hour power, this is not trying to convince anybody to come under the religious uh, belief that I have. This is just giving you affirmations to continue to have a blessed and prosperous day. That's it. That's it. That's all. Uh, so, you know, um, so I'm excited about it because that's, believe it or not, I, I, that's something I'm already doing, you know, but I'm excited about, you know, those coming into my sphere, my, 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 uh, Lord, I can't even talk today. Uh, you know, just to get that information. And even if you don't have a job, even if you just want to come on, feel good and then go on and be around, you know, go to your other channels that you go to and that you support, that's fine. But you should always start your day off with something positive. Okay. Always, you know, sometimes we have bad dreams. Sometimes we can't sleep, you know? So yeah, that would be, that would be something that, uh, that you, you know, that you, um, like right now, prophetically, there is a lot of stuff that I really want to say, but I don't want this, uh, recording to be a real long one. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to really get into it. Um, like I want to, cause you know, some, some prophetic information is coming. Um, I will say this though. Um, See, I have to get permission to say some stuff too. If God don't tell me, I can't speak it, even if I want to. So I'm trying to debate on what it is that I, I'm allowed to say and that that I'm not allowed to say. So, um, the weather. Let's just say this. Be careful. Uh, oh, I hate when I itch. It's a. You know how you have a spot you cannot reach. And you be trying to like move and everything else to get that spot. Okay. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, in certain parts of the world, the weather is really, really, really great. Trip us up. I mean, really, really, really get, getting ready to trip us up. Not to trip us up. Uh, because, okay, it's winter and we have 60 degree weather in places that's, that's not normal. Not that. Trip us up like storms, very, very bad storms, you know, storms that we're not used to seeing, and especially in certain places. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it right there, and, you know, I'll be back, not to mention, uh, with some more information. I just, like I said, I don't want all of it to be stirred out this time. Uh, anyway, so uh, I will say this, y'all, um, about my experience with Walgreens. So I went to Walgreens. Well, I didn't go. I called Walgreens to check and see if I had a prescription that was there. And I was on hold with Walgreens. If y'all don't know what a Walgreens is, it is a pharmacy. I was on hold for Walgreens 55 point something minutes, okay? Then they hung up. I called back four times and they was picking up the phone, hanging it up. Picking it up the phone, hanging it up. Picking up the phone, hanging it up, okay? So I let my family know my frustration with Walgreens. My daughter called. She, my daughter texted me and said, Mama, don't worry about it because I'm on the phone with them giving them an earful right now for you. And then she added me to the call. And the dude that was on the phone was so nasty, y'all. It was ridiculous. Okay, so I asked him if he had a prescription for me. He said no. He, I gave him my name, and I knew he couldn't type my name in that quick. And so I said, would you like to take my date of birth? Well, what's your date of birth? Okay, so, I, <laughs> so anyway, he said no. Okay, we hung up. My daughter calls back and gets the evidently head manager that wasn't there at the time, calls back and get him. Tells him, my mama called, blah, blah, blah. And then I just called back also about that and blah, blah, blah. And the pharmacist said, yes, we have a prescription for her. It's been here since December the 30th. 
So, of course, my daughter goes off. She said, because there could have been a life or death situation for my mama. And he up her talking about he ain't got no prescription for her. So she said, I need corporate's number. So y'all, we in battle with that particular Walgreens and corporate right now. And y'all, it is so much. I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, where do they get these people from? Where do they get these people? You know, I mean, if you hate your job, you really need to quit. But you don't tell somebody that they don't have a prescription there. Like, you know, like my daughter said, it could have been life or death. And I've been, and here's the thing, y'all. I sent my son over there to get all of my prescriptions before the 30th. All of them. And he asked him at the window, is this all of her prescription? They told him, yeah. For us to know now, that was a full-fledged lie. <sighs> y'all. So anyway, just be careful, you know, just be careful. And shout out to my oldest daughter also, because she did all of my errands today. You know, she even went grocery shopping for me. She's like, mama, what you need? I'm like, I just need a couple of things. She came in here with six bags. I'm like, Lord, today, chair. But I think I, I thank her so much. And I thank God for allowing my children to show up when I need them. A lot of parents don't have that, you know, and, uh, I, you know, even if it don't continue, I thank God for now, you know, and uh, I guess such a big thing to happen. <laughs> I want to tell y'all so bad, but wisdom is saying not right now. So anyway, and I thank you guys who uh, try to send me a cash app. My cash app, I don't remember it by heart, but my cash app is actually on my page. Uh, and, and whatever you send, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Cause I'm not working right now. I filed for my disability. So whatever you see in, I appreciate it. You know, I'm just one of them. Uh, but I do thank you guys. And, uh, thank you again for your well wishes. And I will be back on here with some into entertainment stuff. Don't think I won't. Don't think I won't. Cause I will. But yeah, I had to allow, I had to let you guys know about, you know, the encouragement, uh, so look out for it Monday morning, you know, even if you're getting dressed and you just wanted to play while you're getting dressed, are you getting the kids out to school, you know, are you just, when you wake up, you roll over, you want to listen to it, okay? All right, y'all. If you all can, I am at 659. Can you guys help me get to 700? I love, I love, you know, seven numbers and eight numbers and nine numbers. So if you guys can, can you please help me get to 700? Tell your friends about my channel. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. A lot of things is, is dated, less chat, less talk, things like that. But it's some good content and information up under those titles. Um, you can go back to my earlier titles where I was raw and unashamed. Um, talking about, you know, of course, my life. Uh, about, you know, my rapes, my molestations, abuse, uh, you know, being a dope girl, things of that nature. You know what I'm saying? There, I, I do have a past. In order to have a present, you have to have a past. You know, uh, I know a lot of people lie about their past. They ain't never did this, this, this. They just been Pollyanna all their life. That's never been my story, you know. But anyway, I love you guys. And if nobody told you they love you, I do. And if nobody told you you are intelligent, you are. This has been your girl, Creole Butterfly. And I'm going back to recovering. Smooches!